Yo, I don't know how to do proper returns to a channel, but hey, I'm here again. Today's topic is uh, traditional art. I love uh, traditional art now, okay? I'm, I don't love it, but I do like to perform traditional art a bit more often because digital art is uh, my job now. I do it on a daily basis. So we're gonna relax and chill and do a cool little uh, chilly traditional art session. Welcome to the... No, not to the... Welcome to... Chalagunla 4.2. Welcome to the new age. Age of Chala. This is real now. This is reality. The old Chala is history. So what shall we be drawing today? I don't actually have access to my professional pro markers today, so we're gonna use a pencil. A normal ass pencil. One of these bad boys. Let's try to cook something up. I'm not gonna really plan this. I'm just gonna try to sort of wing it. I wanna do like a big ass chair over here. Let's say this is a chair and here is the size comparison. This is Sienamon. He's small. The chair is very large. He can stand up on it. It's very large. So yeah, he's gonna be pulling it using some sort of means of transportation. By means of transportation, I mean he's pulling some sort of rope wrapped around the chair. Arms, head, leg, leg number two. That's the plan. I would just remember that I can't move things around in traditional art, so I'm gonna move to the next page. Cool ass chair. This is a great search term. I'm loving this. I'm gonna have to use more sophisticated search terms in the future again, such as cool ass chair. That chair is definitely gonna grab your ass, LMFAO. Well, this is our reference for today. Anyway, so I'm sure there's a lot of questions ya people have got about what I've been up to lately. What have I been doing on this break? I would talk about it. <laughs> But I thought maybe there a better way to do that would be making, you know, like a Q&A sort of video. What do you guys actually want to know? I'll answer all y'all questions in that Q&A video. So feel free to ask me anything that interests you in the comment section of this video. And maybe I'll answer them in the next video. Very cool. How cool is that? <laughs> ah. Now, your boy Sienna Mon shall be somewhere over here dragging that son of a son of a what? I don't even know. Very intricate leg anatomy going on here. Very graceful big head because anime. Very long arm. This is uh, too small. This is too small, too little of a sketchbook. I don't like it. It sucks. Now this is the real Good. Fuck. Ah, oh, Christ. Oh, I found my intro from the last traditional art video. Welcome to another traditional art. Here's this and this, of course. Okay, so let's try to start over. Here's gonna be the chair. Your boy is gonna be somewhere over here. Gonna try to do a very darn flowy pose. Bulge. I'm a master at human anatomy. I be learning that and I'm trying to get better at it. Trying to remember the muscles and the bones and how they work and crap. It's fascinating. Y'all should try it out. The fundamentals must not be neglected because you will suck if you do that. I want to improve the design of the chair somehow. I'm gonna give the chair like some sharp teeth or something perhaps. This reminds me of Shoop the Whoop. Now this is a chair I would love to have a sitting session on. We're not actually gonna be seeing a lot of his face this time. Wow, that is a small ass head. <laughs> Treat yourself to a little something while you're work. Man, that's some good ass shit. Okay, now we also gotta do something with that background cause that is completely empty right now. Let's look up a cool ass backdrop. Cool ass scenery. Search term that will yield the best results for this particular piece. Let's see. Oh, hey, I like that. I, I think a stormy background would fit this picture very well. 
Let's do some big ass storm clouds in the sky here. Gosh, this is hard with pencil. I really need to buy some paints and gotta try doing this in traditional paint. I wanna get into that eventually. Yeah, this is just a rock chilling on the side here. Maybe some more rocks here to contribute to the chaotic vibes. This is actually a pathway of some sort. Some more rocks over here. This is like en entering some sort of cave. Okay, some epic mountains and, s and crap in the background. I want the lightning strike to hit right this part here in between these suckers. Gosh, Gosh lightning is white. I can only represent things with dark lines right now. The lightning is black. Okay, I think it is time to get them close on this bad boy. Okay, so first things first, let's do <coughs> the face, which isn't actually going to be very visible. You can see a very troubled face expression. He got old. He looks old AF. Still wearing that cool ass hat. What kind of darn outfit shall he have? Adidas. I'm just searching for the brand. Let's see, because my keyboard is covered up with my sketchbook and I'm too lazy to lift it up. Let's try to find an outfit from the related images of these. I don't want just shoe picks. Give me something that has a little bit more than just a shoe on the image. Oh, I like that. Won't be very visible, of course, but still though. Let's give this sucker these darn shorts that he deserves. I like how the outfit suits with the stormy weather and cramp very nicely reflects what's going on. I feel like he needs some socks. Let's give him some knee socks and some maybe some flip flops or something. Maybe we can just skip the shirt this time and show off the epic body type because he works out. Let's give him some veins or something on the arms to make it look like the physical effort is very, very darn strong. Oh boy, well, this is going great. But we need to also bring focus on the door and chair. So let's try to clean that up a bit. Let's do the same stuff we did before. Before, 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 lighten the sketch. I also feel like this chair needs a little bit of a better tongue. Let's uh, do a little bit of a little bit of saliva dripping off from here. Maybe some of that stuff between the teeth to make it look like the mouth is open wide. That's pretty cool. Not really a lot I can do with this picture. I can give it some basic shading or something. You know, at this point, I would take this to my PC and would color this digitally. But right now, since I've just moved, I forgot the charger for my gosh darn tablet pen at the previous place. So I got to charge my tablet pen. That's right. So I think I'm going to try to just refine the lines here. I'm just gonna make it look like it has some polish. I'm also gonna do some basic shading. Maybe I will actually color this digitally. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add like a dead tree or something in the distance there. Just a leafless tree. Looks exactly like the lightning strike. Maybe I gotta add some width to these branches. Width, width, width. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try to take this to uh, my software of choice. The shading looks like something I would have done in sixth grade when I first discovered that you can do stuff like this. You can fade with a pencil and I was like, holy darn, I'm gonna do this everywhere. Maybe I'll even smear it with my finger. Yeah, this looks something like that. It looks awful. So I'm gonna drop it here and I'm gonna uh, try, to, try to color this. Time to take a photograph of this sucker. Maybe I should also take a videograph. Check this out. First of all, I'm gonna show what I meant to do with this. Gosh, I'm doing this with a mouse. As I said, we are gonna put this layer on overlay and then we're gonna bucket fill. Oh, <laughs> darn. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Very cool and nice and stuff so gonna try making freehand lasso 
selections with just my mouse. It's turning out decent so far. Those darn rocks. This is great. I'm returning to my epic art channel without even a graphic tablet. A true artist. Now as things go further into the distance, they start turning a little bit more into the color of the sky. That's how it works. And as it comes towards the camera, more of its original color comes in. That is how you do depth. Was he even blonde? I don't remember. I know my OCs so well. That was a criticism on pointless OCs. Now let's apply the same principles here. Take some of that background color. Let's uh, do this on a lower opacity though. There we go, very nice. And now let's move up and the further it goes, the more into the sky color, the ground turns. And that's how you do it. That's how it be. The character looks way too bright. So let's reduce the lightness. So boy, let's do a quick freehand selection here. Time to do the same over here. Now it is time to do the teeth and the gums and crap. This is turning out to be an educational video. Let's do some quick highlights on these bad boys just with the default soft brush or some crap. I'm fucking nailing these freehand selections, my man. I have this brush here that is even softer than the default soft brush. Gonna give the teeth the same kind of highlights. Now a similar thing with the shadows to make them blend into the, the other areas nicely. I'm locking the opacity of the layers for this and just uh, picking a color, going a little bit darker and doing it like that. This uh, top left corner is the brightest because it's facing the light source the most because it's coming from the top left. And that's how light works. I did not expect an end result like this, I gotta say. Now we can just do a little bit of magic. Let's take Sienna on and let's put a gradient overlay on. Let's put it on multiply and just using one of these preset gradients here. Move it around on him. I just want to make his legs darker to make him blend in with the ground a bit more and bring out the torso. So yeah, this is it. This is the end result. Wow. Cool. Sick. Nice. What a return to YouTube. This is like a classic Chala drawing. Chala channel artwork. Mouse art is actually easy. You just gotta know your fundamentals. You gotta know your techniques. Gotta know your light sources. And things will be cool. So yeah, I don't know how what to do for an outro. Right. Right. Let's choose a dope app font. All right, so this is my outro, guys. Do this and I will be happy. I don't remember how to do videos. Bye, guys. Hey, y'all should follow me on the social medias on which I almost never post, but check them out on the screen here. Bye, guys.